Okay, what I want to quickly review with you today is how quality control points are handled in Odoo uh, at the manufacturing level. In addition to this, I'll also send over another recording done by a colleague of mine a few months back, which will review uh, other ways that quality, uh, the quality module can be leveraged in our system. So, first thing I want to look at here is let's actually go into the quality. Let's open up, uh, go to quality control, and we're going to do a quality point. We'll create a new one. And here's where we specify. What's the title of this? We can do a product check. We can specify the product we want to issue this on and the variant associated. Then we can look at the operation. Uh, let's say we want to do this in the manufacturing operations. When we select that, it will instantly tell us, okay, at what work center. And then you can specify the different work centers that you want to issue the quality control checkpoint at. We'll do fabrication since it's the first one. You can also look up here at control type. Do we want to do it on all operations, randomly or periodically? If you look at randomly, it'll say how many, what percent of the operation, or periodically, every day, week, month, etc. You'll be able to specify. We'll do it on all operations. And then you can take test type. Is it a pass-fail? Or we can do measure. Measure will introduce what is the norm versus what is our tolerance, which will allow us to have uh, you know, some sort of precision in terms of like measurements and, and what each piece checks out to. For this, we'll do pass-fail, and then you can specify the team responsible, which of course there's only one team right now, so that'll be the team we work with. And if you want to specify an individual user who's responsible, that can be the case as well. And here you can leave a message. Please make sure that the fabrication is completed correctly. I'm sure you can, you know, we can even highlight this. Uh, we can, you know, font color, we'll make it a dark red. Now, save it. Once that's done, let's go ahead and test it out. Go to our manufacturing application, operations, manufacturing orders, create a new MO. We'll select the product, um, X123, and we'll save this. Check availability. Oh, I don't have those in stock, but we'll go ahead and we'll plan anyway. Just to run the uh, work orders. When we select work orders, fabrication, we can start working, edit, create a new lot, save this. And you'll see in the top left, there's something called quality checks. And also up here, there's now quality checks. So in, before I'm able to continue, click finished, I have to go through a quality check at this operation. Now that I've started it, if I try to do this, it says, OK, quality checks gives me the particular product name and then the actual note. And I can choose pass fail. If I select pass, then I have the option to click done, which I can click done. And it will, of course, move me along in my production cycle and allow me to start working and stop working. Unless, of course, I issue another quality checkpoint at this individual operation. OK, um, I hope that clarifies things for you and gives you some sort of visibility into how quality checkpoints can be used to issue uh, some assurance and control over the operations is to make sure what you're putting out meets uh, your criteria. Awesome. Thanks so much. And please let me know if you have additional questions or concerns.